The 2008 doesn't remind me of any vintage at all, and, and that's, what's, that's what's unique about it. Part of the challenge of, of a winemaker here at Jordan is to provide consistency from vintage to vintage, but 08 is like nothing I've ever seen. The core of their 2008 Jordan Cabernet is this bright fruit characteristic, and particularly you get this, this red cherry, almost a black cherry fruit characteristic. There's a little bit of plums that go along that as well, but then the, the overlay of tannins is so soft, so subtle, that really it's, it's much more fruit forward. The overall tannin expression of the wine is going to be still round, soft. I mean, it's, it's, it's critical to the style to have that kind of textural, wonderful flavors and, and, you know, literally where you want to lick your lips. That's what we want. It just had all this wonderful, bright fruit, so effusive, so it just jumped out of the glass. And when we swirled it, you didn't have to look for anything. It was, it was very open to the, the appreciation of the palate. So we increased the amount of American oak and diminished the amount of French oak to, to where it's almost 50-50. And you could really see this after the six months period because that's when normally the French oak kicks in. But what was still lively after six months in barrel time was this wonderful, um, this little black cherry uh, quality nose to it that we did not want to overwhelm by the, uh, the oak intensity. Instead of building this big wine that's gonna kind of overpower your palate, we want to go something that's much more seductive, much more subtle, that you're going to be drawn in by the aroma of this, this wine. You're going to, you're, we all probably notice the oak more so than previous vintages because the, the American oak is more dominating, but this vanilla kind of characteristic of the American oak really works well with the cherry qualities of it. And this is why I think food-wise, it, it's, it's, it's going to be so much fun to work with this wine because the fruit is really what is the inspiration behind the whole winemaking of this. That's what we chose to go with. One of the exciting things about 2008 was that even though we had a huge loss in the frost, I mean, literally from the, from the very beginning, we were operating at a deficit. But the good thing that came out of this is that I, I needed more fruit, and so the, our existing growers, when I went to them, they opened up their books to me, so to speak, and said, well, I've got this and this and this, do you want to try that? And that was kind of the advent to where we are now with some exciting properties that started in 2008. So from a winemaker's point of view, once the cork goes in the bottle, our job is done. But from the Jordan's point of view, it's only halfway done. The additional two years of bottle aging is absolutely crucial to the consumer's appreciation of our wine. When that bottle of wine's on the table and you open it up, it's not just the two years of, of aging in the barrels that that's, you're going to be noticing, it's the full flavor profile that, that's available. And you don't get that until you've aged, bottle aged it. That two years for us are better from a linear point of view, but it's exponentially better. And this is what I think the Jordans really want. They want, when you open up this wine, you really get the full benefits of everything that happened in that vintage.